welcome back to the phonics classroom. We're going to start today's lesson by replacing some initial sounds in words with a new sound. So Miss Neal is going to say a word and I want you to tell me what the initial sound is. Ready? My word is back. What is the initial sound in the word back? Yes, it is b. Now let's change b to p. What's my new word? Pack. That's right. Let's try another one. My word is tame. Change t to s. My new word is same. Very good. Let's try the word rat. Change er to k. My new word is cat. Excellent. Let's try the word feet. Change f to b. My new word is beat. Very good. Last one. Soak. Change to j. My new word is joke. Excellent! Let's jump on into our worksheet and practice some of those letter sounds we've been learning. So I'm going to say a letter sound and I want you guys to write the letter or letters that make that sound. Here we go! For number one, my letter sound is O. O. Letter O makes the O sound and O consonant sneaky E makes the O sound. Excellent! For number two, my letter sound is U. U. Letter U can make the U sound and U consonant sneaky E can make the U sound. Excellent! For number three, my letter sound is U. Uh. The digraph O, O makes the U uh sound. For number four, my letter sound is OO. The digraph O, O can also make the U uh sound. For number five, my letter sound is K. K. So we're going to divide our line in two parts. And at the beginning of a word, letter K can make K, and letter C can make K. At the end of a word, letter K can make K, letter C can make K, letter CK can make K, and K sneaky E can make the K sound. Very good! For number six, my letter sound is The digraph T H makes the sound. For number seven, my letter sound is th. Th. The digraph T H also makes th. Very good. For number eight, my letter sound is er. Er. That's that E. R combination that we learned last week. Very good. For number nine, my letter sound is E. E. So we know that letter E can make the E sound. The digraph E. E can make the E sound. And last week we learned that letter Y can make the E sound at the end of a two-part word. Very good. For number 10, my letter sound is D. D. So we're going to divide this line into two parts because at the beginning of a word, letter D can make the D sound. And at the end of a word, letter D can also make the D sound as well as the suffix E, D can make the D sound. Excellent job, friends! Let's jump on down to number 11. We're going to practice spelling some words using these fabulous letter sounds we've been learning. So for number 11, we're going to spell the word her. Her. That 
word ends in the er sound that we've been learning about. So I'm going to write the first sound that I hear. And then I'm going to write er to spell the word her. Very good. For number 12, we're going to spell the word hope. Hope. This word has that long O sound. So I'm gonna write O. And I know I need my sneaky E at the end to make that O scream its name. Excellent job. All right guys, so we're gonna review a special kind of word today. So I want you to echo these words after me and listen for what they have in common. What is the same about these words? Here we go. Grapevine, dishcloth, homeroom. What did you guys notice that each of those words have in common? All of those words are made up of two other words. So we took two small words and we put them together to make one compound word. Let's look at those words up here on the board. All right, friends, so I have written those three words up here. Our first word was grapevine. Grapevine is made up of two small words, the word grape and the word vine. So we put those two small words together to make what's called a compound word. This word is homeroom. We took the word home and the word room and made one compound word, homeroom. Our last one was dishcloth. We took the word dish and the word cloth and put them together to make the word dishcloth. So to divide these words using our division line, we draw a line between the two small words. So for the word grapevine, I would draw my line between the E and the V to separate it into two parts, grape, and vine. For the word homeroom, I would draw my line between the E and the R to separate it into two parts, home room. And for the word dishcloth, I would draw my line between the H and the C to separate this word into two parts, dish and cloth. Dishcloth. Excellent. So let's pick up with number 13 on our worksheet and practice spelling some of these compound words. So for number 13, we're gonna spell the word bedtime. Bedtime is made up of two small words, bed and time. So we're gonna start by writing the word bed. B, ed. And now we're gonna write the word time without leaving a space. Because remember, this is one word, bedtime. T I'm. And I know I need that sneaky E on the end to make my I say its name. Bedtime. Excellent. For number 14, we're going to spell the word toothpaste. Toothpaste. I hear two parts, tooth and paste. So let's start by writing tooth. T -oof. Tooth. Now I'm going to write the word paste. I hear the long A sound, so I know I'm going to need that sneaky E on the end. Huh. A -st. Sneaky E. Toothpaste. Excellent. For number 15, we're going to spell the word bathtub. Bathtub has two parts, bath and tub. So let's start by writing bath. B -a bath. Now let's write tub. T -ub. Bathtub makes one compound word. Good job, friends! Let's practice coding a couple of these together before you finish on your own. So for number 16, our word is toothbrush. 
Toothbrush has two parts, tooth and brush. So I'm gonna draw my division line between the two parts of this word. So I'm gonna draw it after the word tooth and before the word brush. So right in the middle to separate it into two parts. Then I'm gonna finish coding this word. In the word tooth, I see two digraphs that I need to code. I see the oo digraph and the th digraph. So for the o o digraph, I'm gonna underline it and I do not code on top. Remember, OO makes a special sound and we don't put anything on top. Then I'm gonna underline my second digraph, the th sound. The TH is making th. So I'm underlining both of my digraphs. Now let's code the second part of this word, brush. In the word brush, I hear the short uh sound. So I know that I'm gonna code my U with the short symbol. I also see another digraph at the end, that SH digraph we've been learning. So I'm gonna draw a line underneath my SH digraph. Now I have coded the word toothbrush. Excellent, let's try number 17 together. This word is cupcakes. Cupcakes can be divided into two parts, cup and cakes. So I'm gonna draw my division line after letter P, but before letter C to say cup and cakes. Now let's finish coding. My first word is cup. I hear the short uh sound. I know I'm gonna use this short symbol to code my U. Then let's code the word cakes. I hear the long A sound. So I'm going to put the long symbol on top of my A. But what is making it have that long symbol? Yes, there is a sneaky E at the end of this word that is sneaking up on letter A. This word also has a suffix. It has the suffix S at the end. Remember, a suffix changes the meaning of the word. So my word is not cupcake, as in one. This word is cupcakes, as in more than one. That's why my suffix is so important. So I draw a box around it. Excellent job, friends! I want you guys to try coding the rest of these words on your own, and then flip your paper over and do some reading practice. I can't wait to see all of your fabulous work and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another phonics lesson. Bye.